following up from my last video showing potential changes in the damage modeling for the World War II aircraft, I decided to do the same thing for the early jets. Many of you will know that the MiG-15 in particular is quite famous in DCS for being a bit of a tank and taking a lot of damage without apparently being affected. That is when it's flown by the AI. So I'm going to jump in a Sabre here and the MiG's just up in front of me and we're going to put some holes in it and see what happens just like we did with the Warbirds. Now he is set to friendly so we don't have to worry about him disappearing off in maneuvers. I do need to put my guns on and they are set. So let's just give him a little touch here and we'll see how he reacts. I'm going to get nice and close. He's just flying straight and level and we'll put a couple of rounds up his bunghole there. There you go. And as you can see, the pilot has bailed out within seconds. The engine is on fire and that is a MiG no more. Anyone who has spent more than five minutes in DCS prior to about six months ago will know that that is not how the MiG-15 used to behave when it took damage. Let's do a couple more tests just to be sure about this. So here's our friendly MiG. Let's try again and we're just going to try and hit something other than the fuselage. So we're going to close on this chat rather gently. He's doing 500 kilometers per hour, so he's not terribly fast. And we'll try and get the guns to land on the wing if we can. Okay, we did hit the wing. I'm just going to pause it and go to the F2 view. Oh my god, oh my god, the F2 view. And you can see that he does have damage decals on the rear left of the fuselage, on the upper surface of the left wing, and the lower surface of the F wing, a left wing, the F wing. But it looks superficial, so we'll have another little crack. Okay, that's pretty substantial damage. His left aileron has now come off and the aircraft is smoking. Let's see if anything worse happens without hitting him. He does appear to be flying along rather merrily. No, I think he's losing altitude here. Yep. And there he is. So after a certain amount of time of the engine belching black smoke, eventually it gives up. And at that point, the pilot bails out. I don't think we need to test this much anymore. That is pretty conclusive for me. They have certainly adjusted the AI aircraft, both the Warbirds and the MiG-15 at least, which was famous for being a bullet-absorbing tank previously. So there we go. I'm, uh, I'm quite happy with how this is panning out. This is starting to look quite good. Hopefully they just keep focused on this and uh, keep working away at these damage models and keep improving them. Certainly seem to have addressed some of the most glaring issues that players have complained about for a long time.